Hi, I'm Diane Grover, cosmetic chemist trainer and assessor here with the Institute of Personal Care Science. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a goat's milk and hemp emulsifier free serum. Now let me show you just how easy it is. We are using goat's milk in our goat's milk and hemp emulsifier free serum today because goat's milk is rich in fatty acids like caprylic, capric and lauric acids, which are similar to the skin's natural lipids. These fatty acids help to strengthen the skin's barrier and lock in moisture, making it excellent for dry or sensitive skin. It's also high in vitamins A and D and minerals like calcium, magnesium and selenium, which support overall skin health. So we'll start by adding the goat's milk to the water phase. Make sure that you're using pasteurized goat's milk. I found this readily available in the supermarket, but you can also check out health food stores as they often carry pasteurized goat's milk. Then I'll add a humectant to attract and hold moisture on the skin. Hydrated skin always looks plumper and smoother, which we all want. I'm using Zamir because it's naturally derived, lightweight and fast absorbing. Then my broad spectrum preservative at the maximum input. You really need to make sure that you preserve a product containing goat's milk really well because the proteins, fats and sugars in the goat's milk are nutrient source for bacteria, yeast and mold. Now for my hero ingredient, this is Sepimax Zen, which is a pre-neutralized cold process polymer thickener and stabilizer, which forms clear to transparent gels when added to water. I'm using this because the strong gel network that the Sepimax Zen creates will trap and stabilize the fats, proteins and sugars in the goat's milk, which could otherwise destabilize my formula. The proteins and minerals in goat's milk could also settle or clump in my formula, but the Sepimax Zen has suspension capacity, so it keeps everything evenly dispersed in my formula. So I'm going to use a mixer for this. I'm going to spread the Sepimax Zen evenly across the surface of my formula and while continually mixing. You can see that's already starting to thicken. Once you have this beautiful gel, you can add some lipids in. I'm using a naturally derived silicon alternative, some hemp oil because it's rich in omega-3s and omega-6s to further strengthen the skin barrier, and some tocopherol to protect my plant oils from oxidation, and a little lavender essential oil just to make it smell beautiful. Now that that's evenly dispersed, we can check and adjust the pH to around 6.6 .6 because the pH of goat's milk is between 6.4 and 6.8. And now we have this super nourishing, lightweight, goat's milk and hemp emulsifier free serum. That's super lightweight gel texture. See, and that's how easy it is to make a goat's milk and hemp emulsifier free serum. If you like today's formula, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to subscribe to receive notifications on videos just like this and email us at info at personalcarescience.com.au for more free formulas. Happy formulating!